Ladies and gentlemen, a wonderful day. Number one, I need a haircut. I need to trim my whole body. And this is gonna do the job, which I'm stoked on. This right here is the Beardscape V2. If you haven't watched my video already, I reviewed the V1 and I actually had their whole entire box. This one is just the trimmer with a couple guards. They do offer a bigger pack with more accessories. Everything you're gonna see and all their other products are gonna be linked, top link in the description box below. Check it out, see what other people are saying about it after the video is done. The trimming has improved with the V2. It is five speed setting, responsive controls, compact design, full feature trimmer. It's extra quiet. The low friction blade balance spindle and insulated motor make the Beardscape V2 one of the quietest trimmers available. It has quick charging. Get a full charge in three hours from a dead battery. And the V2 will work while it is plugged in if the battery is dead. So obviously this is a battery powered trimmer. But if you run out of juice and you have to cut your hair, then you can plug it in and you will have power with that as well. The battery is an extra large capacity Lily Ion battery and will last up to four hours on a single charge. It has a digital display to show the battery indicator, etc. This has a low friction ceramic blade and has a titanium rake. This combination is the sharpest, lowest friction trimmer blade available. It has a built-in adjustment between one and 1.9 millimeter. The Beardscape V2 is ready to trim your beard down to your stubble or perfectly buzz off body hair without having to snap on a guard. If you need to make longer cuts, snap on one of the included trimming guards that go from one millimeter, two millimeter, three millimeter, six, nine, 12, 15, and 18. Those are perfect for again, cutting your hair, body hair, etc. Without further ado, let's open this box on up. And the reason I'm so stoked on this, number one, is I look like a woolly mammoth, which you're gonna see in just a second. And this is the slowest unboxing ever. <laughs> As it's slowly, I could use two hands, but this is just too cool. It's coming, it's coming. And there we go. My beard is looking way too thick. My hair is looking way too scraggly. That's why I'm stoked. So you got your instruction manual there, little register, get 10% off your next product. You got your cutting length chart right here as well. And just for, and we'll see, but typically what I do is I actually charge the battery fully before I do use it for the first time. Number one, that's a good size trimmer. That feels good in the hand first impressions. Let's go ahead and take a look. We're just gonna click it on here. And it actually does have a locking mode for travel. That's actually really cool. So hold the power for five seconds to unlock. One, three, five, there we go. So as you can see there, we have a color LCD display. Right there, your battery is running at 240 minutes until empty with red all the way up to green, a little slider bar. That's pretty cool. Right now, it actually says I'm on 1.9 millimeter, 5,000 RPMs. That's a really cool little LCD screen. Orange LED light right there. That is very quiet. I'm gonna put it up to my microphone really close to it for just a few seconds. So if you need to trim in the hotel room, bathroom, you're not gonna wake up your family, or I should say for that purpose, cutting your hair in your own bathroom. You're not gonna wake anybody up with that one for sure. Nice handle here. Very nice little looking kind of like a diamond grip. That's pretty cool on uh, this side as well. Little logo on the back, ceramic blade of course, gold, titanium metal up there. Okay, now after testing it there, it says 239 now. And to move up the blade, Simply push in that little button right there and it will actually change right here. So now it says 1.3. I put it back all the way up to the top. It says 1.0 above 5,000 RPM. So it's letting you know what millimeter you are on for the blade purposes right there. And then I believe it goes up to, okay, here we are. 7,000 RPMs is the max, but that will lower your battery rate. Now we're down to 179 minutes. So it goes 7,000 RPM max all the way down to 5,000 RPM is the minimum. So 5,000 to 7,000 RPMs and increments of 500 RPMs for cutting. Go ahead and turn that off. Your charger input is right here at the bottom and it does come with a stand. So you can charge it like that. You can have that on your vanity and on the back of it, it has another charger input right there. So you can charge it two different ways. You can use it if your battery's dead like that or you can remove the charging cable, which I would do. Have that in your medicine cabinet so it looks a little bit more sleek and then only use the cord when you do need to charge it. To clean it, you simply pop off the top just like this. There's your ceramic blade. 
You would clean out any hair down here. And according to the directions, do not rinse your beardscape because you use oil for the blade. Water and oil do not mix. So it says never run the blade under water. You wanna clean it with a brush and not water. All right, let's check out our accessories real quickly here before we do give it a rip and show you how it works. You got yourself a little power wall plug, USB to the end of your charger right there. And that charging cable length is a good solid six feet, which does come in really handy, especially if you do need to use a cord in a pinch if your battery's not charged. Okay, once again, these are double-sided clips. You do have some oil and it does come with a brush in that other box. So putting the blade back on, what you wanna do is you wanna get the back of it nice and even right there, pushing in just like so. Now again, these are double-sided. So this is 15, 18 right here. So I had to put on your guards. Instead of slipping it down like you normally would, there's little tabs right here as well as in the interior portion. And what you do is you just come down flat on it like that, lining up your ceramic blade at the very end right there. And then it's nice and secure there. So again, you get 15 and 18, three and six on this one, nine and 12 over here, and one and two millimeter over here for a total of eight different sizes. Again, they give you some oil, which is very nice. Most of us don't have blade oil laying around. And again, the brush, for cleaning out your trimmer. This is actually fully charged already from the factory. So we're gonna go ahead and grip it and rip it. So again, I look like a woolly mammoth. This this needs to go right here. You know what I'm saying? Some of you guys might, that beard is looking real good. I mean, it is, but I like it a lot more clean cut. So let me show you here. We're gonna be doing my hair, of course, as well, but I'm on one millimeter. So we're just gonna rip right through it. Check that out. Boom, done. Boom, done, boom, done. Ceramic blade. Okay, let me just give you a little bit of an option here with a ceramic blade. Okay, are you ready? So I'm literally driving this thing in. Now, obviously my chest is gonna get red from scraping it, but no cuts, that does not hurt at all. Getting right in the middle crevice as well. And forgive, I have a few little red marks. I'm getting older, I sunbathed a lot. I froze off a couple spots. Too much sunbathing when I was younger. Where are your sunscreen, folks? This is what I really love it for, right back here. Let me tell you what, I've seen guys with tank tops on have this little patch of hair on their upper back. It looks absolutely disgusting. That's why obviously we just shaved it. Also for a quick trim up, check this out. I'm still on number uh, one, uh, one millimeter, by the way. So this is great as well. Getting your beard line just for a quick touch up if you're going out or you don't want to shave fully and you just need to clean up that little beard line there. I'm using the cell phone as a mirror. So obviously I'm not gonna cut my hair with a mirror as a cell phone, but you guys get the idea. And then right here as well, getting that up. Getting your beard real nice. Ooh, boy. Your boy needs a haircut. And then this is what I really love it for as well. I don't like woolly mammoth underneath the armpits. I like to keep it really clean, not to mention if you have any scragglies right here. I actually shave my arms. And what's nice about this as well is that if you don't have time to shave, check this out. Look at that. One millimeter again. Obviously, I'm in my bedroom right now because it's the nicest part of the house. I'm in a full remodel. So, sure, I'll have to vacuum, but it is what it is, Johnny. It is what it is. So, that gets it really low if you like your arm hair shorter. And then what I do is, again, I just kind of go right through my arm area here, which gets really sensitive. Sometimes I get shaver bumps right here in my inner arm. And yes, I do have a nasty farmer's tan. And coming up here, right here as well. Check that out, look at it just fall off. No scrapes, no cuts. That ceramic blade is actually really nice. And I like to keep a little bit, but trim it up and keep it frothy. So it definitely passes my test for body, but now we need to cut the hair and use the guards to trim my beard. Again, that was on 5,000 RPM, one millimeter all for body. You can adjust it if you want a little bit longer 
or want a few little curly cues on the chest, I'll leave that up to you. Again, forgive my ugly wallpaper, I'm in a full remodel. Okay, now I'm up to 7,000 RPM. I have a Blade 6 on, and let's go ahead and cut the beard a little bit. I like my beard a little bit smaller, like I mentioned. Shorter, I should say. And the reason I went up in the RPM is I want to rip through it, and it's doing a great job right now. Check this out. Look at it just ripping through my beard. Check this out. Watch this. Look at that. Look at it. You see that? That's doing a real nice job right there. Not yanking, not tugging. As you can see, look at how hard I'm doing it on my face. Okay, watch this. Boom. Grip it and rip it. Look at that, huh? I like what I'm seeing, folks. Look at that. Just dumping hair. I might actually go a little bit lower than six. Oh, by the way, I'm on uh, the ceramic blade was brought down to 1.9 with a six on there. That's why it's a little bit longer, I think. Let me trim this up. Let me look. Let me see what it looks like, and I might actually go down to one mil on the ceramic blade with the six guard. Let's see. Beard is looking much better. Take a look at that. I like it. Okay, let me show you gripping through my hair here. I switched over to the nine. Look at that. I'm still on 7,000 RPM. I'm on 1.9 ceramic blade, guard nine, ripping through. It's not yanking. This is, this is working out really nicely. Look at this. Look at it just ripping through with 7,000 RPM. I like it. If you do want to see some of my haircutting tutorials, definitely check out the channel. Now, something to keep in mind, if you guys are going north to south body hair, you might want to be a little bit more hygienic pleasing. If you don't care, just run it. And what do I mean by that? I mean anything below the belt. Obviously, that won't be on camera, but I'll let you know how that does down there. Well, folks, it has been about a couple weeks now. Make a long story short, just got done with my second round and it did a great job. As you saw in the video, it ripped through my sides. It's been two weeks. My sides have grown out. My beard has grown out just a little bit. But today I redid my chest. I did my neckline, which again, if you're trying to get out the door really quickly, 30 seconds, get your neck, get your neckline right here. You could even do your little beard area right up here as well. I think the haircut looks really sharp. Even if you go too short and you don't like it, remember in a couple weeks, it will look a lot better. It will grow out. Definitely drink a lot of water and take some biotin as well. That will help with your hair growth as well. I think the Brio V2 has done an amazing job. I think they definitely have hit it out of the park compared to their first model. This did a great job cutting my hair. Long battery life, quiet. After two sessions, I got 149 minutes on 7,000 RPM still. And if you are wondering, yes, I went all over the body and it did a great job. I even trimmed my leg hair with a number three back hair like we've already seen in the video. Overall, did a wonderful job. If you want to get your hands on your own Brio V2, I'm going to call it a full body trimmer plus hair. So the whole entire body, whole entire body trimmer, head to toe, even the knuckle hair that grows on your knuckles. Top link in the description box right below the video is going to be that link. Check them out, read more about it, pick one up yourself, but just like all my videos, guys, please don't go into debt for anything that I do make a video about. But if you have the cash and it does intrigue you, go ahead and purchase on away. If you wouldn't mind hitting that thumbs up button on your way out, helps the channel and the YouTube algorithm. Also subscribe if you'd like more videos like this, tech reviews, DIY home projects. Once again, your link for your V2 is top link in the description box below. We will see you on the next video. My name is Chris. Take care for now. Bye-bye. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.